Jeez, took the YouTube side long enough to get here. There we go. We're finally live. Hello, everybody. I forgot to start the timer. Man, I just, I thought I was prepared, but I really wasn't. Took me a good while. I was trying to get, you know, things ready, trying to review the today's session, was trying to make sure I had everything correct, and then my ADHD brain went, hey, you know what you should do? You should make a, a, a code character for ChatGPT that is the god of loot. And so all you, all you have to do is ask the god of loot what loot to give during certain scenarios, and that's it. And so that's what I did. And I didn't have the camera set up, nothing, but I feel like I'm a lot more prepared now. Hello, everyone coming in. Good to see you all. Hopefully you are all doing well. The Lone Crescent, thank you so much for the gifted sub. I appreciate it. I'm a DM for a Pokemon D&D Berry Fun. That is awesome. That is so awesome. Goodness gracious, the Lone Crescent coming in already with five gifted subs over on Twitch. Already destroying our sub goal today. Goodness gracious. The God of Loot, like L-O-O-T. Everyone, give the Lone Crescent some love. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. An icon coming in, becoming an Oath of Throne It Back member. Thank you so very much. I appreciate that. My first quester stream, right on. Happy to hear that. You love D&D? Good, I'm so glad you do. I like how easy a sub goal is. I'm glad you guys like it. Welding, you don't know where those subs have been. <laughs> Fair. It's gonna be sweet. Yeah, I hope you guys are ready. If you guys want to be a part of being chosen to play, uh, be one of the players, head over to Twitch. Again, this code only works with Twitch. As of right now, I don't know how to connect it to YouTube. So if you guys want to play it, click on the link in the description. You will find the Twitch code. You will just find the Twitch link. Head over there, and then I'll be able to... You, you could be chosen. So. Keep it a Loki gifted five memberships over on a, a YouTube. Thank you so much. You guys are being way too kind today. Thank you. To everyone who has memberships or... Uh, subscriptions make sure you spam that love emote we have I want to make sure everyone feels the love with all of this today thank you so very much you guys are amazing how's everyone's day been by the way I hope you all had a fantastic day who here watched uh, the solar eclipse yesterday I'm in uh, Dallas Texas area and so we got to see the full eclipse. It was really, really cool. That's the second time. Second time I got to see that. So the first time I lived in Idaho where it went over. And so the next time we moved to Texas and I got to see it twice. It was amazing. I hope you guys had a good one. Also, before I miss it. Icon, thank you so much for subscribing to Prime. Vincent ha Vaughn, thank you for subscribing to Prime. You guys literally have no idea how much that means to me. Thank you so much. I'll tell you guys here in a second how to get in. I just I want to avoid people spamming. So you live in Europe? Well, I think the next one is in 2026, and that's in Iceland. And then I think the one after that's in Spain. Colwyn, thank you for so much for the bits. I appreciate the eclipse was super cool. Yeah, it totally is. It's really cool. The Ace Adventure, thank you for the $2 Super Chat. Good afternoon from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Love Edmonton. Love the Euros. Love the poutine. I miss it there. Iceland's going to be beautiful. Oh, 100% it would be. You're kind of new to D&D? Risky old man. Well, I welcome. I hope you have a great time with us. And hopefully you enjoy this D&D with chat. Canada gig. Cheers from Iceland, my guy. Hey, we already got some from Iceland. Welcome. I don't know how to say your name, but welcome. Just wanted to say I'm a DM for a Dark Souls campaign. I love watching your shorts. Excited to see how this goes. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate you, uh, Vincent Vaughn. Hopefully you enjoy it here. 
Yo, I drop kick every goblin in the teeth. Oh, right on. This is how you get the fix? Well, I'm glad that you could be here to get the fix. I really am glad. This is a new and different way to play Dungeons & Dragons. I literally can't wait for this. Una reverse card. You love my shorts? Thank you. I'm wearing shorts today, too. <laughs> Hello from the Carolinas. Sprouting D&D sprouting player here. How are you doing today? Sprouting, me and like new? Well, welcome. Hopefully, you're doing well. We're happy to have you here. I'm doing great. I can't wait to do this one shot with you all. Also... I need everyone here to thank wife. Talking with wife yesterday, I wanted to do this live stream on Wednesday, but it was going to be around 12 o'clock. And during that time, it was going to be a little bit rough, mainly because everyone was going to still be in school and everyone was still going to be in work. And she's allowing me to take an evening to stream with all of you and uh, to do it a little bit later so more people can be here. So I want everyone to thank wife for this. She deserves all the love and support right now. That's nice of her. Yes, yes, she is. We were going to try to do it like tomorrow night, but that just wasn't going to work. So she's absolutely amazing. What's on your fingers, if you don't mind me asking? So since I'm playing on a digital touchscreen table, these are to help me with moving. And so I'm not just like constantly moving my finger on the table and I'm not smudging it everywhere. But also, I'm, like, making sure my fingers don't get raw. Can we play on YouTube or do we have to do it here? You got to play on Twitch right now. If you just want to watch, you just watch it on YouTube. Twitch is the place to be. Again, I don't have the code to connect my YouTube chat to the, the code I have. It's only connected to Twitch chat. So, yes, I love seeing all the hearts. Thank you, guys. And then once again, guys, thank you so much for the sub goals. Thank you so much for the super chat, working that, and the bits as well. You guys are way too kind. Thank you so very much. I really hope you guys have a great time today. This, I, I'm so excited. We got the code working. I got so many elements that's going to be thrown in into this session. I got all my music ready. I'm so excited. I literally am so excited. I'm excited to convert this into an actual video as well and to post it later on and so i just i i literally cannot wait for all this <laughs> i'm gonna post on him replying i swear i'm so happy well i'm glad you're happy taz thank you oh sir duke is it i the ginger jesus and i have one question opinions on in distress uh, what what's upon a stream time i didn't get to finish that <laughs> hey can we play tomorrow too we might play something else we'll see uh, the wife is home most of the day tomorrow, and she's going to be watching Athena. So I'm not sure how I feel about if I, like, streamed and she just kind of watched the whole time. So thank you guys for joining the Discord. I appreciate it. Also, guys, just really, really quick, I want to shout out to all of our patrons. I had to go ahead and cancel our $15, uh, our my $15 tier over on our Patreon. And quite a few people did the yearly amount and I was there to I was offering to give them a full refund if they wanted because that's not fair to them and I wasn't able to keep up with the the tears for the last two months just because of the baby and just life in general but so many of them have been so sweet they have just wanted to support and I just absolutely appreciate them and I I really do hope they know how much it means to me and so if chat, again, if you guys could give a huge thank you to our patrons, literally it helps out so much. I really do appreciate it. Also, speaking of Patreon, before we get started, if you want to play this session and have the map and what I used for my notes, I'm going to be posting this later today after the stream with the PDF and the map, and it's only a dollar. So if you want to support us, head over to our Patreon. And you could get all of this. Everything I, I do for these streams, I'll be posting. If I feel like it's good. <laughs> yes, thank you, wife patrons. Yes, all right. We got 30 seconds. Is everyone ready? Are you guys ready to play D&D &D together? I'm so excited for this. It has been so long. It has taken so much time. And now we're finally here. 
Ah, I can't wait. I, I literally cannot wait. Tori, hello! I hope you're doing well. All right. Three, two, one. It is time. We are playing D&D with chat, everyone. Let's freaking do this. So I'm going to jump over really quick to D&D with chat. Boom. Oh, wait a minute. Bam, there we go. Fixed it. <laughs> Just PS, I'm going to constantly be looking over here a lot. If you see me doing that, that's going to be me reading chat. And it's also going to be me looking over, make sure my computer's are already. But if this is your first time here and you guys are ready to go, hello, welcome to D&D with chat. Uh, as you guys can see, I have to give a huge thank you to Doug Doug. If you don't know who Doug Doug is, he is a, a coding streamer. Very fun, very interactive with his community. I look up to him a lot for that. And he recently released a bunch of codes, and I was able to take that code, implement it into my stream, and now I can play D&D with chat. I can choose viewers from my Twitch chat, which is right here, and then they will appear over on these DDs over here. And then when they talk, these DDs will um, say what Twitch says. Really, really cool. So shout out to Doug Doug and for allowing a lot of, of us to use this code. Very happy for that. Also, huge, ginormous shout out to Game Theory Tables for providing me this touchscreen game table. I'll show you guys it. It is touchscreen. I can move this chat around. This is what I use to look at chat right before streams. I can literally scroll. It's great. So we're going to be playing on the touchscreen game table for today's session. Literally cannot wait for that. I have this. This runs on Android. But you can do, you can connect it to your computer where you can use it as a fourth monitor. Currently have this connected through USB-C to USB to my computer. And guess what? It works just great. I'm using an application called Space Desk. It's that easy. If you want to check out your own uh, table, click on the link in the description or pin comment. And check it out. And if you buy something through that link, it's going to help us out a lot. Uh, Jake, and if you are on, could you make a pinned comment with the link in the YouTube description and put it in the Twitch chat for me, please? Or, well, Twitch chat, if you type an exclamation point table, it'll pop up. But all right, here we go. Uh, just a couple things that I need to um, clarify before we get into everything. Let me get some certain things set up because now we're actually here. I actually need to get set up for this. I'm gonna move this over here. I gotta change the, who is who? Okay, we want him, Treaty. We're gonna have it be Jenny. And then Smitey, we're gonna have it be Guy. There we go. Um, now I need to move chat from there over here so I can still read chat. Move this over here. And let's bring up, where is it? Here we go. Thank you guys for being patient. Sorry about this. I'm just trying to get everything set up again. Like one of the very first streams that we're doing with this. So I want to make sure I'm doing this correctly. There's going to be a lot of hiccups, things like that. And one thing, it is very new. One thing I'm trying to figure out is this glare. As you guys can see, you can see there is glare on the table. I don't know how to fix that right now, but we're going to try. If anyone has any suggestions, I would love to hear it. But anyway, guys, welcome to D&D with chat. Your R3 characters will be Tanky, Smitey, and Treaty. Tanky is the Barbarian, Smitey is the Paladin, Treaty is the Druid. If you want to know more about their characters, if you're on YouTube, go ahead and click on the uh, click on the links in the description. You will see character sheets for each one of them. If you're on Twitch, type an exclamation point Barbarian, exclamation point Paladin, or exclamation point Druid, and their uh, links to their character sheets will appear as well. We are starting off at level 2. Smitey is a dragonborn paladin. 
He has Morning Star, a spear, Art Arm Strike, and his breath weapon is gold. You have your Divine Sense. You have your Divine Smite. You have Command, Compel Duel, Shield of Faith, and Wrathful Smite for your spells. We have Tanky, who's our Barbarian. We love our Barbarians. They're fantastic. Tanky is a Half-Orc Barbarian. He has a Great Axe, so two-handed. Uh, two, uh, two -handed. He has two Hand Axes and Javelin, so you can use a lot of uh, throwing if you want. You got two uses of Rages. You have Rentless Endurance. If you drop to zero health, you drop to one HP. I believe that's it. And then we got Treaty. Treaty has a Quarter Staff, Thorn Whip, Ice Knife. You can Wild Shape twice. And it's got to be any character. I, I'm going to have to figure this one out. I'm going to have to just make a list of characters for people to choose from. But we have two uses of Wild Shape. You have Shillelagh and Thorn Whip as cantrips, and you have Ice Knife and Speak with Animals. Treaty is a Wood Elf Druid. So there you go. If you want to know more about them, so when you, if you do get chosen for Twitch chat, you'll be able to know what to do. We are actually playing a D&D 5th edition game. I know a lot of people have watched Doug Doug, and he plays Dungeons & Dragons. It's not Dungeons & Dragons. It's just a very simplified version where he just says certain things and then just says you got to beat a DC and then they roll. So we're actually playing an actual game of D&D 5th edition. You will, you are expected to know a little bit of how to play the game. But if you're new, I hope you have a fantastic time with us. If you are over on Twitch and you want to join in and be one of these players, if you want to either be uh, Tanky, Treaty, or Smitey, Tanky, uh, from left to right, you need to type in exclamation point player one, exclamation point player two, or exclamation point player three. Once you do that, you'll be inputted into a, um, you'll be put into a little category where I will then choose the, uh, choose the people over on the, uh, chat God app selector. And if you are chosen, say hi, hello, and we'll jump right into it. Uh, you only have to do it like once every, honestly, just do it once and you're already in the pool. And then do not do it again until I ask. That is where we can avoid spam. Also, the code has it. If you keep spamming, it's just going to kick you out. So only say, only put it once. If you put it once, you're in the pool. You're not going to get doubled up. So just letting you know, let's try to avoid being spammed. But player uh, exclamation point player one is tanky. Exclamation point player two is treaty. Exclamation point player three is smitey. Is everyone ready to meet the first people if you are say heck yeah sorry uh it's exclamation point player two like the number two and it's all one word heck yeah all right guys here we go the first ones to get chosen are captain <laughs> marmu 43 cool doom 2010 and Mecha pun to exe, Captain Moo, you are tanky. Cold Doom, you are treaty. No way. And Mech pun exe. Hi. Hello. You are. Let's uh, go. Yeah, right on. See, now when you guys talk as well, the DDs move. Isn't that Hello. cool? Oh no! Is uh, is uh. Let's burn down some forests. Hold on. Hold on. Try it again. Captain uh, Mamu. Try that again. We're not We're not picking you up for some reason. Arson. Yeah, no, not yet. Please, no arson yet. Hello. Oh, there we go. All right, everyone. Here we go. We are going to finally play D&D with chat. We have the program set up. Once again, thank you, Doug Doug. Thank you, um... Game Theory Tables for allowing us to do that. But with that, let's get started, everybody.
I wasn't expecting this. I'm excited. I I'm glad you're excited. I'm very glad you're excited. All right. Ladies and gentlemen. Do I have nuclear explosives in my inventory? No, you, you do not have nuclear explosives in your inventory. No, you do not. Okay. Aw. <laughs> Twitch chat, YouTube chat, everyone watching. Welcome to the first ever D&D 5th edition with chat. I am your Dungeon Master Duke, and today's title of this story is A Purple Worm's Belly Ache. Our three adventurers, Tanky, Smitey, and Treaty, have heard the rumblings of a purple worm making its home at a nearby desert. It is said that this worm has been gobbling up adventurers and spitting them out, sometimes alive, but they're beaten, bruising, and sometimes stinky. But then there's others that are less fortunate. They come out dead. Best way I could put it. Our three adventurers try to make a name for themselves, trying to take on this challenge and help anyone in need decide to head out to this desert and to find this purple worm and put an end to this. Which is crazy because you are all, all are level two. As you head out into this desert, it's quiet. The sun starts going down. It starts to get a little bit cold. You realize you weren't as prepared for this mission as you once thought. As you once thought, you guys start to see a sandstorm out on the distance, starting to brew up. You guys decide to take shelter, but that sandstorm is acting a little weird. It's only bringing up sand in one area, and then it clicks. That is not a sandstorm. That is a monstrosity figure moving towards you faster than anything you've ever experienced. And before you can even connect the dots on what this is, a purple worm bursts out of the sand, gobbling you three up. It's dark. You think you're in the afterlife. But then a light shines. Almost I am at... of the circle of the flat earth druids. Sorry, what? I am the circle of the flat earth. Okay, great. <laughs> God, is that you? No, no. <laughs> uh, the, yeah, I mean, yeah, you're right. There is light and everything coming. <laughs> you guys, you guys would be correct. A light starts to form in what you are suspecting inside the purple worm. As it opens up, you see that there is light coming from over here, and it's shining this way. As you guys move up to this sign, which is weird because why does a purple worm have a sign? Maybe it got lodged in its throat after eating a couple things. But you read oh, it. shiny. Very shiny, yes. Uh, this this, this uh, sign has been spit polished. You read the sign and it says, to the right, or right to the dump, left the purple worm tavern. Now, tanky, smitey, treaty, which way do you guys go? Do you go right to the dump or do you go left to the Purple Worm Tavern? I want to go get drunk. What a, what a great first thought that comes into someone's mind after they've been eaten alive by a Purple Worm. Take East Spidey. I couldn't agree more with Cool Doom. <laughs> Left oh. to the tavern. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. Our, our, our party realizing after being eaten, their first thought after dying is, man, I need to go get drunk. There's a tavern. Perfect. We are in the afterlife. You guys make your way over to this tavern. As you enter the tavern, it's... Dude, pleasant. why did you it think this would be a god idea? Because I come up with God ideas, okay? You guys walk in, and you find yourselves in a very warm environment, surprisingly. You walk into this tavern, and it's it's clean. It feels homely. It feels warm. You feel like you've been here before. And in this top right area, you guys see this goblin. 
You see a goblin with, with some of those like um, grown out mutton chops. And you, he says to you, Oh, welcome visitors. It's so good to meet you all. Please come in and take a seat. You three go right up to this barkeep and you sit down feeling like you've just seen a new friend. Ah, adventurers, what can I get you today? What kind of drinks uh, tickle your fancy? I, I'm pretty sure I, I, I have it in stock. And as you look around, yeah, in the back here, you can see there is quite Warm a bit of... in Celsius or Fahrenheit? Uh, 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 Celsius, it is a warm 28 degrees in this tavern. Yay. Fair yes. <laughs> so what, what kind of drinks can I get you today? Uh, by the way, the name is Gerbert Gamgee. Pleasure to meet you three. And he uh, reaches his hand out to shake each one of your hands. Patanky, Treaty, Smitey, what do you guys want to drink? Hi, my little friend. Beer and steak. Oh, uh, comrade, what is your strongest drink? And oh, tank okay. heat as I shake his hand. The <laughs> more it tastes like puke, the better. Whoa, okay. Treaty is getting weird here. All right. Uh, Gerber Gage looks at Spidey and goes, Ah, a meal and a drink. I like it. I like it. I'll go get that started right for you right away. Uh, Tanky, the strongest drink we have is a drink called... Now, this is a secret. It's from a it's from a wandering traveler that I knew. He came in here not too long ago and shared me his his brew, but it's called Jamar's brew. It is a very very strong. And if you take it, oh, it might I, knock I'll you take up. an E. I'm sorry, you'll what? You'll take a knee? Typo. Oh, okay. You, so you'll take a typo. That's a great take drink. one. I yes, you can take a typo. That that is fine. Yes, uh, and then you wanted something that tasted like, like puke. I may have to go talk to the. I may have to uh, talk to old Bessie in the back, but I'll let you know. You see Gerber Gamgee head back here, and he starts grabbing things. He's opened up these crates, and almost magically, he pulls out yes, a steak. Yes, I don't like taste buds. I okay. Uh, <laughs> he pulls out a nice tankard of beer. It's like foaming from the top and brings out a beautiful T-bone steak. He heads right over to you, uh, Smitey, sets it right in front of you. He goes over here to some of these barrels and he uncorks one of the barrels. You see this almost like clear liquid, but it has that like rainbow shine that oil has in it. And it starts going into this mug. It's not a big mug. It's a very small mug. Gerber Gamgee then comes over, hands you the um, the hands you the uh, tankard uh, tanky, and goes, and then Gerber goes over to Treaty and says, uh, "Talk with the I I, I talk with the um, old gal, and uh, she needs to eat something a little bit more before she can give you something that tastes like puke. Is that okay?" Wait, where the hell are we? Are we uh, dead or in the worm? Oh, oh, you're you're an old Bessie here. It's 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 a purple worm. Yeah, yeah, you were you yeah, you're in the worm. You're not dead though. Old Bessie was kind enough. As how do you guys respond to being in a purple worm? Spidey, you 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 have this your is fine. Oh, okay. I, I'm glad you find it fine. I guess this is normal for you then. How come some of the adventurers die? Uh, I'm I'm sorry. The adventurers have died. Oh. Oh. You see, Gerber is physically like pained by Pepple hearing this. Pupple have found corpse. P Pupple, sorry. Pepple, pe the Pepple have found corpse. Oh no. Ah. Uh. Well, I. I guess I need to. Tell you guys what's been going on here with old Bessie. Um, old Bessie here is not a normal purple worm. You see, he is old... the village elder. It is old family name. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes, Peppel, the old the the villager. I yes. drink this as brew he is hand to me. The ones who survived are extremely hurt. 
Okay, so if you're going to drink... Oh, so you say this very solemnly. Like, you are also pained to hear this tanky. And you take this drink and you down it. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. I would prefer not to die. You won't. Don't worry, but tanky here might. Uh, tanky needs to make a constitution saving throw. First roll of the game, everyone. You need to be a DC check of, let's say... um. Let's say 12. You got to beat a DC check of 12. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, first roll of the game is a 16. Love it. Love to see that. You down this drink, Tanky, and as you take it, it hits like a freaking truck, but it is nothing you can't handle. That is some of the best tasting brew you've ever had, but you know if you have more. It's got to get a little bit nuts. I bet I can drink 10x that. Are you sure? Are, are you sure? I, uh, I I don't think. I, okay, chat. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask. The, okay, Is that I'll, a challenge? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. <laughs> Spidey's over here just eating his steak and beer. Good, my friend. G good, my friend. Okay, good. All right. Well, um, I can drink it, but I may not live. Th that's fair. That's fair. Okay, chat. Uh, we're going to ask chat. Do we see if Tanky and Treaty can try to drink five of these? Or like each one gets five and we see who succeeds? Let's ask chat. Roll for contest. Why do you even ask you guys? Like, obviously the, the answer was going to be yes. All right, all right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, Gerber gave you Let's have chat. Chat, Chug. Let's just do one roll to speed it up. Uh, just one roll. Wait, wait, hold on. Okay. No, no, this brings up a good point. This is uh, Captain Marmu, uh, uh, Takey, literally just called out Twitch chat. Twitch chat. Do you, can, can you guys drink 10 of these without falling unconscious? Here, here's the thing, Twitch chat. If you guys can succeed this, all right? If you guys could succeed 10 drinks, I will gift out 10 gifted subs. What counts as unconscious? Uh, if, they if they roll below a 12. So Twitch chat has to roll above a 12 10 times, and that'll do it. Okay. All right. Uh, there's a there's a new. I, I need to I need to literally create an icon that's just Twitch chat. I think that would be absolutely hilarious. But let's head over to. We're gonna go to Spidey, and we are gonna roll, ten d twenties. Okay. I'm gonna give you a Constitution modifier of two, so you guys have to roll a ten or above each time. Okay. And if you fail, if you fail Twitch chat. This is already beautiful chaos. It is, it is wonderful. If you fail Twitch chat, everyone in Twitch chat besides the people who are talking, y'all have to be quiet for five minutes. I just want dots, okay? Dots and dr drunkness in chat, okay? That's all I want. Here we go. Actually, we'll just do two minutes, only two minutes. That's right. possible? It, it is possible. I don't know why I'm doing this. I got a plus two. We're going to see if Twitch chat can survive Jamar's brew. Here we go. Oh, okay, there's one. Twitch chat just down one of the drinks. Here's two. Oh, no. Twitch chat just survived two of the drinks. Two down, eight to go. Man, you guys are chugging this. Oh, no. Did I screw this up? Here we go. Oh, no. It almost hit a natural one. Twitch chat. I make a sleight of hand check to fake drinking it. Well, cool. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, yes. Oh, no. Twitch chat, you all fall victim to Jamar's brew, and y'all can't no. talk for the next two minutes. I just want dots in chat. I just want drunks. I just want Zs in chat. You guys pass out on the ground. You guys are done. All right? No more. You guys are tired. All right. <laughs> Back to this. All right. Um... Sorry, I, I had to I had to go run. Uh, you see, like, Gerbert Gamgee run outside for a little bit. You hear him, like, pouring a bunch of glasses and everything. And then he, like, comes back and he goes, 
Sorry, there was this regular that always comes in, and uh, this time we could only down two drinks. Uh, they're pretty lightweight, you know, and they're not very good at drinking. So, sorry about this. Uh, let me let me explain to you what's going on right now. Uh, old Bessie here, this this purple worm. How do we make sure we don't die? I'm trying to tell you. Uh, I I and I didn't know you did die. So, um, or I didn't know you could die. This this may be a bigger thing than what I thought. But um, old Bessie here, this purple worm. Me and her have gone way back. I I I raised her from just a little little old worm baby and i it is i've taken care of it and she is taking care of me and through the power of the gods this tavern right here is actually the heart of old bessie here and something has been bothering old bessie she's she's not what she that's used adorable to. and sounds lovely it is very adorable thank you so much tank eight he's gonna pour you another glass of jamar like he's gonna turn around grab it and come back and be like there you go. Um, and uh, we, we, I've taken this time to see the blessings that come from having old Bessie. And uh, we, we could really do a lot of There is good. no God. I am a thess. The earth is flat. The GDS are fake. Uh, that's good for you. Anyway, um, <laughs> he just looks at Treaty and goes, They lie. Okay. And, and turns away. What? <laughs> No, 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 there, there is gods, there is gods, as he looks at Spidey, who's a paladin. No, there, there is gods. I uh, Believe me, you, you're good. Um, they have blessed me to have this purple worm, and we travel throughout the world to be able to provide shelter and warmth and food and drink for wandering adventurers like yourselves. Y'all are able to come into my tavern and partake of drink and... Uh, food and rest as much as you like it. All of it is on me, and I could... Oh, excuse me. I, I, I've been having a little bit too much as well, and I could take you to your next destination. And with that destination... And as he says that... We were feel, hired to kill Bessie. Whoa! I'm sorry? <laughs> Kerber Gamgee's, like, taking it back. You were... You were hired to kill Bessie? Oh. Oh, well, I should I should have asked you. Yeah. Uh, yup. Oh, oh. No, we weren't. Right? No, but no. Okay, so one said yes, the other said no. No, nah, you know, we're just gonna keep going. Maybe I could change your mind. Maybe I could change your mind. Okay. Uh, old Bessie here. Uh, as he says that, there's this sudden jolt that happens with old Bessie. And you guys, uh, thank you, Trudy. You guys fall down. Smitey, you are still on your seat. Um, still eating your your T-bone steak. Your drink spills a little bit as it happens, and as that and as this jolt happens, Gerber Ganji uh, speaks up and says, "See, that's been going on with old Bessie. Something has just been. She suddenly had these stops where she suddenly stops moving, and she wails out in pain. And as he says that, you guys hear this like almost wail sound echo throughout this purple worm, like an agonizing pain sound." Gerber Ganji speaks up again and goes, I've had many adventurers come through here, through this tavern, and I've, I've asked them to investigate. I can't leave this tavern, or I can't leave far from it, because if something would happen to this tavern, old Bessie here would pass away, and we wouldn't be able to bless or help adventurers. And so I've asked these adventurers to go and check out what's going on. I, I've had no idea they have they've perished or uh, been uh, gravely injured, but I just thought they just didn't want to be here anymore. Or, you know, old Bessie spit them out the other way. Oh, that but... sounds bad. Diarrhea, maybe? Oh, uh, maybe. It might be diarrhea. Daria, is that what you said? Daria? Oh, Treaty. You lovely soul. But uh, I'm sorry to ask this, adventurers, but... I, I know there has been other adventurers who have been hurt. And they have... Some of them have died... Old Bessie here has blessed so many people. Maybe we... lactose intolerant. Maybe lactose intolerant. You never know. Could you guys go and check for me what might be causing this pain? Down in her stomach. It seems that's where she's caused... this pain has been happening. So what say you three, please? I will take you anywhere you, you need. If you pay me. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, name your price. I, I will try to pay you as much as I can. Ten cents. Uh, um, 
okay. Um, and he, he like grabs like ten copper pieces, and just sets it down in front of you. He's like, okay, uh, ten cents. I get up off the ground and down the other drink he gave me, and I'll do it for an entire barrel of this beautiful drink. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Copper yes says. Uh, copper pe- Yeah, you get the uh, ten copper pieces. Takey sneaks over to this barrel here, drinks, and you drink the barrel. Is that what you said? I'll do it. You'll drink a barrel of this beautiful drink. Okay, Spidey, are you still here? No, he gave me a cup. Oh, you gave him a cup. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna down one of these drinks again. Uh, we we gotta continue through this. You down this drink, Treaty. You are able to you you take on this challenge. And Gerber Games, you looks at Spidey. Let goes, us go. Uh, and Spidey, what about you? Do will you will you take up the challenge? Is Mech here? Smitey hate a stroke. I will do it free, my goblin friend. Oh! Oh! Smitey? Smitey's fine. Smitey's here. He was just really enjoying that steak and beer. And freaking, he looks at you, Treaty, and goes, I'm going to do it for free. And with that, the power of his oath gives him the courage and power to go through this. Smitey, you have... Uh, uh, you have a point of inspiration. Treaty, you don't, because you're greedy. All right, moving on. Grimmer gave you goes, thank you. Thank you three so very much. I very much appreciate it. Um, if you head out this back door right here, you will be able to head down that way, and you will know when you get into the stomach. Thank you. Thank you, adventurers. I very much appreciate it. Moving on, it. my allies. Moving on, my allies. All right. Now with that, take a treaty, Ed Spidey. Can I get another one just in case to numb the pain? Uh, yeah, yes, absolutely. Gerber Ganji goes and uh, take you now have a side of Jamar's brew. With that, thank you, Captain Marmu and Cool Dom 2010 and Mech Pun. Uh, we're going to switch characters right now. If everyone would like to type an exclamation point, player Five. one, player two, player three, that would be absolutely amazing. As I'm getting to the next, this next part, our adventurers, whoops, our adventurers, bye. Will we be able to get it again? Yeah, you totally can. I had to go, so it's perfect timing. Okay, perfect. All right. Tinky, Treaty, Spotty, you guys start making your way Beth. into this area. Right here. You guys exit the tavern. And you are back inside of the purple worm. You guys, as you enter this big area, you have entered the crop of the purple worm. And as you look inside, you notice that this crop the, the crop is used for storing certain food. You'll find all different types of materials in here. And you can see that this purple worm recently passed through a forest. As you can see, a bunch of trees have fallen over, some rocks and debris. But as this happens, you hear rustling in this tree right here. And then over here. And then right here next to you. Boom, boom, boom. It keeps going back and forth. Seconds go by where rattling keeps happening from this. Then, emerging from this tree, you hear almost clicking noises. Almost like it's trying to... Something is trying to sense where you're at. Oops. And almost like in a camouflage fashion, a gigantic phase spider. Unfortunately, was part of this blue, uh, this purple worm's dinner, but trickles out of the trees, and it looks like it just found its next dinner. Our next players. So technically, our characters are gonna have multiple personalities at the end of this. Yes. All right. Tanky is now controlled by Gaming Fan Three Seven Five, 
Treaty is now controlled by Bio the Vamp. Player two. Uh, yep, there you go. And last but not least, Smitey is Player controlled two. by Hornet Gate. D. <laughs> there we Player go. Player three. You got it, Hornet. You're, you're already here. Hornet. Not Horny. Um, you're already there. With this, we are all going Shocked. to roll initiative. Here Yay. we go. Gaming fan 375, are you here? Hi, everyone. All right. We are all here. What did you call me? I called you a beautiful person. All right. First up, Smitey, you are rolling initiative. You just rolled a oh, nine. Oh, cute big bird. Tanky, you are D. up. You also rolled a nine. Treaty, this you are is up. Awesome. You just rolled a nine, but you got a 12. And now for uh, the oh, face Oh, backslash. Phase spider. Perfect. The phase spider rolls and also gets a 12, who has a higher dex between Treaty and the phase spider. Okay, so for initiative, here's how it's going to go Treaty, you are up first, followed by the phase spider, and said Smitey and Tinky. Rolled at the same time, you guys get to go at the very same time for your initiative. So you guys could collaborate and figure what out... What moves do I have? Would you... I'm getting What's there. What's my spell list? I'm getting there! Once you guys get there, you guys, Tanky and Smitey, you guys get to collaborate and figure out what spell or what you can do. So you guys are going at the exact same time. Trini, you have Shillelagh, Thor Whip, okay. Ice Knife, Speak with Animals. No worries. Good. Um, you also have two things of wild shape. And that is about it. Tanky, you being a barbarian, of course you have rage. You have great axe, hand axe, hand axe, uh, javelin, things like that. You are half orc, so remember that. And then Smitey, you have command, com uh, compelled duel, shield of faith, wrathful smite. And you also have a morning star, a spear. You also have a breath weapon because you are a dragonborn. You have divine sense. And you have Divine Smite, which uses a spell slot. Smite! But God, it's not your turn yet. Calm down. Trady, you are up yes, first! Yes, I get Smite. Y yes, yes, you do get Smite. Can I use Speak with Animals and try to persuade the big bird to join us? Um, Smiley you, face. You cannot because Speak with Animals is a ritual. You currently do not have the time to... Communicate carrot. with speak with animal. Carrot? What what do you mean carrot? Wait, that's called that 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 symbol means carrot? Okay. Sadly it's a ritual, you cannot do that. But what would you like to do? Takey Spidey, think about what you guys want to do. This it is does. a perfect time. I want to try and pet it. Okay, um. So, Treaty, go, you're using your action to pet it. Stupid. Dang. Dang. We're not sure. Bio, I'm not asking you guys. Gaming fan, Horda, I'm not asking you. I'm asking. Bio. And as I get close enough, I cast Ice Knife to its neck. Oh, okay. All right, so Treaty goes up, acts like it's going to pet it, does the little raptor thing that Chris Pratt does in Jurassic World, and is like, hey there, hey Smart. there, hey there. You get close, and you decide to cast ca Ice Knife. Yep, you can do it right there. You cast a shot of Ice Fling out of one creature you make within range. I fret rack my statment. So this is a range spell. Okay, it is a range spell. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to make you right there. And then you're going to cast Ice Knife. Ice Knife is uh, one spell slot, so we're going to cast it. We have to uh, beat a what? What is the AC on this thing? Uh, it's a 13. You have to beat a 13 or higher. You have a plus five, so you should be able to do it. 
which is a six. Perfect. Or you rolled a nine, which you got a 14. That does hit. Uh, that explodes the target. The target and each creature within five feet of it must succeed a dexterity saving throw or take 1d4 cold nice. damage. Nice. Okay, perfect. Thank the nature. Yes, you did. Okay, hit or miss. The shard explodes the target and each creature. Okay, so here we go. So we're going to roll for damage. Three damage plus uh, 2d6. So you just did eight points of damage to this phase spider. So it went down to 32 uh, minus eight. So it's at 24 hit points. Perfect. This phase spider or, or anything else, Treaty, I, I don't think you could do anything else. Nice. I don't know if you have anything as a bonus action. Uh, you do have Shillelagh, but I think you just can't. Oh, no, it's a cantrip. You can do that. Can I back away? Uh, you can back away. And then cast it. And then cast Shillelagh? Okay, sounds good. All right, then you're going to cast Shillelagh. Bam, you take out your Shillelagh. Boom, cast Shillelagh on it. Now you get to use this for it. Perfect. Awesome. Next is the phase spider. This phase spider is going to... Disappear. Actually, no, it's not going to disappear. It's not going to disappear. That's kind of a jerk move uh, for me to do. Gaming um, fan. Actually, no, it is going to disappear. This thing is going to disappear. I smite sword, and then you swing at it. Wait, would you guys? It's not your turn yet. Hold on. Yes. It's going to disappear. It disappears. You do not know where it okay. went. Okay. Um, actually, no, I don't Is like that. I, I really do not like that. I don't like that. Cult? It's not going to disappear. It's going, uh, it's going to move up. I'm asking questions. Goodness gracious, guys. Hold on one second. Is he going to be slowed down since kind of cold? No, he won't. Uh, it, it avoids any type of like restrictions, but it is going to go up to Tanky. Seeing Tanky being the beefiest so and meatiest one out of everybody is going to come and attack you, Tanky. It is going to attack you with a bite. It's got a plus four to hit. Your uh, a armor class is 14, so it's got to be to 14 or higher. Oh, and it barely just does. It's going to attack you for 1d10 plus two damage. Three. It's only going to uh, hit you for five points of damage. That's going to leave a mark. Yes, it did. It did. So you're going to take five points of damage there. And then uh, Ouch. you now have to make a constitution saving throw of 11 or take 48 poison damage. All right. Constitution save of 11. This one should be easy. No, are you? No. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, shoot. Tanky. Oh, no, you just took the full... I'll make you a nice coat with its skin to oh. whoever kills it. D. Here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh, so, Tanky, you're down. <laughs> I As am it hits you me for 23 knife. points of damage. Oh, boy. Snake backslash. New. All right. Uh, um, uh, Tanky, Tanky, uh, just let you know, um, you do have a reaction where you could do uh, uh, or no action. You have Relentless Endurance. If you drop to zero hit points and are not killed, you drop to one instead. Would you like okay. to do that? <laughs> we got to wait. My goodness. Yes. Yes? Okay, yes. All right, you're going to need long rest. Perfect. You are back to uh, one hit point. Current hit point. Uh, we're going to add one. Apply changes. There we go. Perfect. Tanky, being bit Man, by the it spider. it would really help having a healer RN. Wait a minute. Yeah, you're the healer, Treaty. As the spider comes up, digs its veins into the chest of, uh, of Tanky, you see this spider hasn't 
Aiden in forever. And the fangs are buried in the chest. You guys think you lose Tinky. But Ouch. all of a sudden, Tinky managed to resist falling unconscious, resist death, and is standing up. That is the face Spider's turn. It's stuck on Tinky. Now, Tinky and Smitey, you guys are up together. What do you guys plan on doing? Tank, you should hit it really hard. Yes, that is that is a great that is a great choice. Does that mean he gets spider powers? Yes. So again, take it in spider. You guys get to go at the same time. So just let me Can know. Can I what cast you a bean strike on his sword? I use my axe to attack. Uh, use twin bonk. Yeah, use twin bonk. <laughs> okay. Spider uh, tank. Tanky, tanky. Uh, I'm going to ask you first, um, do you want to rage first? Do you want to use your bonus action and rage? Again, I don't know who has played Dungeons and Dragons here, so I'm going to make notes, and I, I'm just going to throw out notes here. If you would like to yes. take those notes, go for it. If not, it's totally fine. All right. Tanky is raging. Tanky, how do you rage? What do you say that gets you to rage? I played one game. You played one game? Awesome, Hornet. Well, I'm glad you're here. I actually play Warlock. This is my first time playing other class. Hey, that's awesome. Look at this. So many new people playing this. I love it. Gaming fan, what do you say that pumps you up, that gets the you in this rage? The pain makes me rage. The pain makes you rage. Oh, my goodness. Okay, this pain infuses you the, the 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 poison is bursting through you and you are in now just a pure blinding poisonous rage and uh hornet if you want to do divine smite what you have to do is you have to hit the spider with an attack and then you can expend one spell slot and use that to cast smite on it so both of you what would you like to do i'm guessing both of you are going to want to bonk correct spider are you going to use your morning star Tank, are you going to use your axe? Yes. All right, yes. Dual right. bunk. Dual bunk. All right, hoard it. So we got one raging. We got one smiting. Here we go. First one is Tanky brings out his great axe, and he's going to roll four. A natural 20. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let's go! Great Axe Natural 20! Let's go! All right, okay. Here's how Natural 20s go for me. And this is actually going to be quite wild, everybody. So, my homebrew is if you roll a Natural 20, you're going to double the dice. Obviously, this already doubles the dice. And one of these dice are automatically the highest you can roll. So, Tanky already rolled a 12 on one of, the, on one of these dice. He's going to roll another one. I'm also going to be taking a mechanic from DC 20. And every five you beat over the AC, we're going to see how this goes, especially for level two. Every five increments that you beat over the AC, you get an extra 1d4 of damage with it. So, Tanky, you just rolled a straight 25. The AC for the the AC for this is a 13. You beat it by two, which means you get an extra 2d4 of damage with this. All right, Tanky, here we go. So we're gonna roll one d12. Yes. And we're gonna roll two d4s. Here we go, everybody. Four, four, nine. Oh my gosh! Holy crap! And one of them's a 12! Oh my goodness! Tanky just took out this phase spider! I didn't even add modifiers to this! Holy crap! I have a question! My so cantrip is said to add bonus damage to wooden weapons. Could I add it to Tank's axe handle? Um, no, because he's attacking it with the, with the, um... With the actual meta part, uh, metal part. But I don't think it's, I don't think this is needed. You just dealt 32 points of damage as a level 2 character. This thing has a total of 
32 points! What the crap? Tanky just one shot at this! Like it just one shot at Tanky! But that's it all! Shock. Smitey! You are still up! I'm not gonna make this, I'm not gonna have this turn away. Smitey, you still wanna attack it? Since this thing is already dead, I'm not going to- Surprised clucks! I'm not gonna have you uh, roll a- I'm not gonna have you waste a spell slot for your smite. But I wanna just see how you do here, and we're gonna work this together. All right, so you're gonna attack with your morning star. Dang. Okay, so you rolled an eight. You're unfortunately gonna miss it. All right, we're gonna I play it this way. It. So Hornet, sadly, you end up missing the face spider because Hornet, you miss it because you are so enthralled with what your comrade Tanky is just about to do. You are engulfed at this magnificent specimen in front of you. You see the spider dig its fangs into the chest of Tanky. Tanky, almost falling down, picks itself back up and in a blinding poisonous rage, brings out his great axe from behind and slices this mother effing spider in half. Holy crap, everyone. That is one heck of an attack. Ever okay, I need I need applause in chat for Tanky on that one. I need everyone to clap for Tanky. Clap for gaming fan. Beautiful. That I was say from great. Behind. Beautiful Claps. as they say behind. Hornet! This is not the end for you though. Yes. This is not for the end for you. As this phase spider, boom, explodes, is dead. There is rustling happening in this tree once again. Good job, Tank Backslash. <laughs> There's rustling. I want to skin it and make a cloak for Tank. Okay. Okay. I like this. Well, we'll get to that in a second. Um, you see something moving from here. You all prep for the worst. And then out comes... An Almirar! I think I, 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 I think I said that correctly. I don't think I did. An Almirar! Which is a unicorn rabbit. And you see it. And it is so adorable. It is so cute. And it hops Zero. all the way to you. A what? And it gives Takey a good lick on its foot saying oh, thank cute. you. It comes to Treaty. I want to punch it. A What? <laughs> Wait, what? No! Eve seen re zero. I ain't trusting Faye. But it's a it's a cute rabbit. So are you are you actually gonna punch it, hoard it? No, I will hurt you if you do. Uh oh. I, I thought this was going to be a Fine. beautiful moment. I want. Oh, you're not? Okay, okay, we're back then. Okay. It's going to come up to you, Smitey. And it's going to come up, and it's going to lick your feet. And as it looks up to you, <laughs> you bring your fist back really quick like you're going to punch it. And then it looks at you, and it gives you the biggest, most beautiful do puppy dog eyes you've ever seen. And it looks at you. Like it wants it to be, it wants to be your, or it wants it, it wants you to be its master. Smitey, your oath has brought you this beautiful unicorn rabbit. What are you going to call Hand this back. thing? Yes. What do you call this rabbit? I want to pick it up. Okay. Smitey, you pick up this unicorn rabbit. Timmy! Timmy! You call it Timmy! This unicorn rabbit is called Timmy, and it comes up to you and just starts snuggling your cheek and is just loving being called Timmy. Snowball! Nah, it's already Timmy. You, 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 the, the treaty, you don't get to choose. It, 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 it's Smitey's. And now, 
Twitch chat, everyone here, we now have Timmy the Unicorn Rabbit with us on this party. I wish I could have someone be a fourth player, but sadly I can't. I need to figure that coding out because someone could control Timmy. All right. Tanky, Treaty, Spidey, and Timmy. It's spelled Timma. Gosh dang it. Timma. Timma. All right. It's Tim. Oh, Tim A. It's Tim A. Yeah, you're still hurt. Um, yeah, by the way, uh, enough of the cute music. Um, Tanky's on one hit point. Would any of you guys like to do Timma. something? Since, oh, since both of you are, you know, our healers. Actually, does, does Treaty actually have anything? No, Treaty doesn't have any uh, healing spells. Emma, go make the cloak. Treaty does not have any uh, healing spells. All right, Treaty, you go over and you make a cloak. Let's My see brother what... is watching the stream. Oh, fun. Uh, you go make the, the cloak. Let's have you roll a... Um... What spells do I have? I'll get to that in one second. Bio, you, let's have you roll a... He's zany. Let's do animal handling. Animal handling. That makes sense. It's an animal. You're trying to skin it. You're trying to make it into a good thing. Let's say the DC check on this spider is a 10. Natural 20! Two natural 20s! Are you kidding me? A treaty goes up and makes this the most elegant cloak in the whole wide world the the most beautiful and wow. most wondrous uh uh a phase spider cloak ever it's beautiful and it fits uh tanky perfectly spidey um you don't have any healing spells but you do have lay on hands you have 10 hit points how many hit points would you like to give um would you like to give uh Tanky? Can I you, stare at the camera and say hi, brother? I mean, you already did. Um, how many how Four. many uh hit points would you get? Four. Congratulations, Tanky. You get four hit points back. You're at five hit points. Congratulations. Uh all right, chat. Okay, chat. I need to ask you guys. Do we ask the loot god if there should be any special properties with this cloak of phase spider? Okay, well. Yes. Cloak of displacement, loot god. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Let's start the loot god, everybody. Here is the other program that I had. We're going to start this loot god. I don't have any yes, divine holy music. I'm a master at making cloaks. All right, here we go. All right, I got to stand over here. All right, everyone. I need everyone to pray to the loot god. Oh, great and wondrous god of loot. The party has just made a beautiful skin it's turned cloak almost over a of time a for phase dinner. spider. Praise we to Mother Nature. We ask you, Loot God, does this cloak of phase spider have any type of special abilities with it? Oh, is this not working? Hold on. One second. I was doing so good, and now it's not working. Sad days. <laughs> Don't make me break an oath. Whoa, 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 Praise the dose asterisk. Okay, why isn't this working? All right, let's... Ugh. Oh, I'm going to stop this. This wasn't working. Hold on. The words on screen ain't changing. Oh, they're not. Can I not do... Oh, but, oh, it's because I uh, downsized this. There we go. I downsized it. There we I go. I look at Smitty and say, look at that beautiful cloak, <laughs> smiley face. Yes. All right. Uh, one more time. There we go. 
There we go. All right. We're going to try this again. All right. Here we go. Oh, gracious and wonderful God of loot, we ask thee in mighty prayer. We just made a cloak from a phase spider and need to ask you, does this phase spider have a, or does this phase spider cloak have any powerful properties to it or is it just a cloak? It worked. It worked. I don't know why I didn't do it with this just one. Just a cloak? Here we go. Here we go. Pardon? We're waiting. Hi, Dad. D. Oh, well, no, this was just working. Why is it not working now? Oh, no. Hold on. Give me one second, everyone. We're going to take a little bit of a break. I'm going to see why. I am not afraid of magic. I'm wondering why this didn't work. Don't worry, you won't know it's magical. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I, I want this voice. I ain't telling you. All right, we're going to try to get this to work. I don't think he's smart enough to know. Gosh dang it, God. No, it's just, it couldn't find... Uh, it couldn't find the voice I was using. Maybe I gotta have it up. With minus one int. Oh, there it is. That's what's wrong with it. Hey. I found it. I found it. I found it. There we go. There we go. All right. I fixed it. I saw what was wrong. He's smart enough to break both of our legs. Wait, stop. Whew. Coding, man. One little thing, and coding just doesn't work. True. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. You guys ready? Oh, great and wonderful Luke God, we come to thee in prayer and ask thee, does, does this cloak that was made from a phase Can spider I pat the skin rabbit on my shoulder? have any type of special powers to it? We ask you, Luke God, does it have any special powers, or is it just a phase spider cloak? Okay, let's see if this works. Oh, no. No, no, no. I feel pain each time he says just when referring to my masterpiece. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. It just it just went to uh hold on. Gosh, dang it. I almost got to like have it started before cuz it goes to the wrong place. Sorry guys. I appreciate your guys' uh love and support. Give me one second. Wait. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. No, no. It's still, it's still both there. Let's try it again. You said I was a dragonborn, right? Yes. Sorry. Oh, great of great God of loot. Could you repeat that? Do I have a tail? No. Come on. Work this time. Work. Ah, ye seek yes. repetition. Tis a virtue of the truly wise. Fear not, for I, the splendorous satchel no. sovereign, shall repeat my divine proclamation. 
The cloak crafted from the skin of a face spider is known in the mortal realm as a face cloak. This celestial creation grants the ability to cast Misty Step once a day. Sounds like May its my ethereal dad. prowess guide you through cloudy chaos, child. Charge into thy destiny with newfound vigor and continue your honorable quest in my name. <laughs> oh my gosh! That was amazing! Okay, take it. You have the ability to cast Misty Step once per day. Oh my gosh, isn't that amazing? Oh, that's so cool. All right, so we got the cloak. Uh, um, Spidey, what did you want to do with the rabbit? Yes! Duke, when are you going to make Warlocks 1E versus 5E or 5E versus BG3? Uh, when I actually like Warlocks. Pet it. Okay, Hornet goes and pets the... Um, the rabbit. And with that, guys, Zero. we've been spending way too much time on this. We are going to continue moving forward. Thank you to our players. If you guys want to jump in, type in exclamation point, player one, player two, player three, and we'll get a new set of people here. Bye. Bye, guys. Warlocks are the supreme class. All right, and with that, I'm going to change anyway, you right away. Remember. <laughs> oh, had fun. I'm so glad you guys had fun. Thank you guys so Punch much. Punch everything, patient. think later. I Enjoy was just, the cloak. I will, I will. Sorry, you guys were just hearing me both in the mic. I was talking that mic. All right, first one, who is going to be playing uh, Tanky is... Player two. Unicorn Fae. Um... Treaty Player is gonna three. be. Oh wait, hold on. Take oh, good Unicorn care of Fae got picked twice. Uh, Mr. Bacon slices, and I... number three is or and Spidey is gonna be. Yes. Mr. Bacon slices again. Jeez, always the sick frog. So we got Unicorn Fay, Mr. Bacon slices, and the sick frog. Hello, everyone. Player. Glad you're here. Love druids. I'm glad you love Woo. druids. And with that, everyone, yes. we are gonna I... move forward. Tinky. Treaty, Spidey, you all begin Thank you, to make your way to this other side. Make it through this area. All four of you now head into So I said I I I thought I said like if you guys go this way, you'd make it into the stomach. I think this is actually the stomach. You are probably my fave YouTuber. Oh, thank you, Sick Frog. All right, yep. You three, you make your way into the stomach of the purple worm. I know I said the stomach was the uh, it was the part where it was having the problems. It's not. It's another place, so don't worry about that. As you guys make it here, you realize this is a stomach. Stomachs have acid in it. And you guys see rivers of acid all around this purple worm. You see dry spots all across this area. Players, what would you like to do? I'm back. Welcome back, sick frog. Can my wild shape include anything with flight? No, it cannot. You are level two. Do we see anything else in the dry areas? Um, you do not see Dad. anything else in this dry area. It, the dry areas are mainly for, uh, you know, just dry land for you guys to step on. I mean, you do see, like, fallen trees and whatnot. What happened? I glitched. No, nothing happened. <laughs> Still waiting on what you guys want to do. How wide are the acid rivers? Are they jumpable? They are jumpable. So they're Kay. only five feet across, so you could jump over them. We can probably them. jump the acid, right? Uh, yep, yep. There you go. Yes, you can jump the acid if that's what you guys want to do. I don't see why not, then. Okay, perfect. 
Do you all go and jump over the acid? Gonna hold up Timma and jump over acid. Okay, perfect. Yes. All of three of you begin to jump over the acid. Spidey has uh, Timma and Treaty. Thank you. You guys uh, go as well. Uh, everyone yes. needs to make a acrobatics check of DC 10. Smitey, you're first. You got a negative one. You got to roll an 11 or higher. And you roll a 19. First jump. Boom. Just fine with Timmy. Next, Tanky. Acrobatics check. Oh, no. That's a four. Uh... Tanky, you go, you, you, you go up. That's how I roll. The, yeah, that's that's Ooh. how you roll. You go through and you 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 forget to jump. Okay, you 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 get so excited about Ooh. jumping that you forget to jump, and so you just kind of walk through the acid. Actually, no, I'm gonna take that back. That makes you sound stupid. I don't want to make you sound stupid. Tanky, you begin to head over to the acid, and as you begin to jump, I knew I forgot something. You. <laughs> You jump, but you're not used to this phase fighter cloak you have. And so as you jump, it catches on your foot. And so all that happens is you jumping and getting tugged down, which lands you into the acid. You are going to be taking 1d6 of acid damage. Tanky, if this rolls a 5 or 6, you are down. Everyone... Pray for Tanky. Tanky's literally on death's door once again no. if he rolls a five Give or six. Give me a one. Here it goes. Smitey, ready some lay on three, hands, please. Three, three, he's good. What are my he's spells? Good. He's good. Uh, uh, Sick Frog, you don't have anything to help. You have lay on hands, which is it. But Tanky goes oh, through. Oh, let's go. Burns himself. Treaty, you are up next. You were going to roll an acrobatics check of plus oh. three. Why does it always Tis go over there? Wound. I hate that. 14. Easy enough. You see Treaty. You see Tanky's uh, mistake. And you go, oh, yes. I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen to me. And you jump over. Now, players, I need to ask. Nicey. You, do you want to go forward up here? Or do you want to go down to this opening down here? Which way do you want to go? Right or up? Tis a flesh wound. Down. It is a tough call. Down. What's the opening look like? The opening. My bad right. It just looks like uh it looks like you're in, you know, a regular tube and it looks like there is a almost like a um a valve in there that kind of opens and closes and i bet if you get close it would open it would open for you like a door okay y'all want to go down tanky and spider heading down uh i need uh tanky and spidey to both make me an acrobatics check again opening tanky's, tanky's gonna roll 18 you're good spidey's gonna roll Natural 20, you are good. Hop, hop, hop. Can I try to pull Perfect. vault with my staff? Um, you can. Yes. You, so, you, um, it's a quarter staff. The quarter staff is just in your hand. If you put it in the acid, it would definitely, like, get seared, which you probably don't want to do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So do you just want to jump? Give advantage for that pole vault. Yee. Yee. All right. Going for it. We're on a treaty. He's going to roll acrobatics. Will you survive? Yes, you will. Just barely. You trip a little bit as you just pass it. You jump. Foosh. Go over. All right. Phew. Chat, you head over to this valve. The door opens. As you look inside, it opens 
and you find the egg sac of the worm. Bessie is pregnant, and this is all of her worms, all of her worm baby eggs, and right in the center is a treasure chest. Oh, no. What do you do? That's why she's been sick. <laughs> no, no, that, I mean, that's a good point. That is a Take good point. Take the eggs point. and sell them later. What? So, Smitty, you, you want to take some of the eggs? Winky face. Oh, no. They'll hatch later. Okay, so what is everyone doing? I just said there's a treasure chest right there, and all of you just ignored it and went eggs. I want treasure, though. Okay. Chest. Chest? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I check out the treasure chest. All right, all three of you are going to the treasure chest. To do this, there are eggs littered across the floor as well. Think of it as when Wreck-It Ralph goes up to go get his medal and there's all those eggs around. That is what you have to do. Either one, either all of you could go at the same time. That is totally fine. Or either one of you guys could go. But the DC check is 17. Give Tim a one-third of the money. Give Timoth what the oh my gosh dang it. Okay. Well, um, whatever's in there. Do you guys want to all go together or do you just want one of you to go? It's a dexterity check of 17. Who is the most dexterous? I think you are, Treaty. Your dexterity is a plus three. Tankies is a plus one. Smitey doesn't have dexterity. So I'm going to ask you, do you all go together or is it just one of you? <laughs> I love how I was like, hey, there's a chest right there. Everyone, everyone has Smitey, immediately gone. do you want to Mimic. use your misty step? Oh! Oh, shoot! I think Smitey and I should hang back. Oh my gosh! That could work. But the problem is, he could only use it once per day. So he could go, but how is he going to get back? I mean, you'd only have to make one if that's the case. Run fast. <laughs> That could work. I could use Misty Step. All right. Tanky, do you use Misty Step to get to the chest? Do you use your one Misty Step to get to the chest? He'll do it. Sick frog. We'll see. One second. Yes. All right. NVM. Tanky. Never mind. <laughs> you Misty Step <laughs> to the chest. You were right there. Guys, I think it's time to ask the loot god what is found in this chest. I need everyone to pray to the loot god. Will he answer our prayers? Loot god, be kind to us. Folded hands, folded hands, folded hands, folded hands, folded hands, folded hands. Oh, great and powerful loot god. Our barbarian just found a treasure chest found in the egg sack room of a purple worm. What is in this treasure chest? No mimics. No mimics. Stop. Here we go. Here we go. 
O humble treasure seekers, thy fortitude indeed pleases me, the vault's veritable vanguard. Upon prying open we the treasure die, chest, your barbarian enemy. shall find two things. Oh, First, a potion of hill we giant strength, a trinket no! that can summon forth might and power that would put mountains to shame. Secondly, an amulet hangs within, a periapt of wound closure, a dazzling piece of jewelry indeed. It heals and stabilizes its wearer in times of need. May these possessions fortify what? thy path, child. Yo, Always conduct good. thy treasure hunts in my glorious name. Wait, 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 you got what? Yay. Yeah, yeah. You got potion of heal giant strength. Got that purple worm luck. And you got a oh. amulet of wound closure. Yo, what the crap? Well, I don't know. I don't I've never heard of that loop. I, I've never heard of that one. Hold on, what what is that one? What what was it? Amulet. Do we just front load all the magic to Tanki? Amulet of Wound Closure. Perry Pad of Wound Closure stabilizes a dying character. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Paladin. I appreciate that. Or, uh, thank you, Barbarian. No, oh my gosh, you're kidding me. So we're going to go off of Baldur's Gate 3. In Baldur's Gate 3, it can stabilize you if you get down, and wearing it ensures you always receive maximum hit points from healing sources. So, to, so if Spidey goes and heals Tanky with the amulet, he's going to get an automatic 10 by just using one point. Oh, yeah. Frick, are you kidding me? Well, this is great and all, but Tanky, you got to get back. And you got to roll a dexterity check of 17. Are you going to get it? And you got freaking strength of hill giants. Is that the one that... Strength of hill giants. Strength of hey, hill giants. Hey, what if giant Tima turns potion. on us? Would reaching out my staff for stability help at all? Uh, he's pretty far away. Uh, maybe. Hold on. Is it club? A potion of heal giant strength. Where is it? Timmy is too cute to betray us. <laughs> Is there no is there no such thing as true? What is the strength of hill giant potion? When you drink this potion, your strength score changes to twenty one for one hour. Timma won't. I believe in the cute creature. Okay. Uh, here we go. Acrobatics. Um, you will not be able to help him mainly because Treaty, you were right here. Your staff was only five feet. Um. Yeah, he's got to make it through. You, he would have to make five feet before he can, before um, you can help him. So we're just gonna have him roll for it. Uh, Takey, here we go. Dexterity check. Good luck. Seventeen or higher. It is up to you. Eight. You did not make it. All right. You get about right here, <laughs> almost like the second step. You nudge one of these eggs, and it rolls. Sad to you. face. As this egg is next to you, it hatches. And it hatches into a baby purple worm. And it communicates no. to you. And it says, Mama, you are now the proud owner of a purple baby worm that you must now look over Keep and it. take care of, Tanky. Oh, no. Tanky, you make it out. You are now the owner of a I purple worm. I pick it worm. up. 
Yeah, you you Tim beat, has friend. Yeah, Tim has a friend. Tanky now has a purple worm. Uh, Tanky, what do you call this thing? What is this purple worm's name? Yes. Make sure Timma isn't eaten. Oh, that's fair. That that's fair. Tommy. Waiting for unicorn. Unicorn, what's the name of this thing? Kenny. Kenny. The purple worm Kenny just looks at you and he's just mama and it like like It should be Tommy Unicorn. <laughs> It goes up on your neck, Tanky, and makes it snug. And now you have a face spider cloak, and you have, Yay. like, almost a purple worm scarf, a live scarf just right uh, right over you. Timma and Kenny. Timma and Kenny, exactly. Kenny is so good. <laughs> All right, just for time reasons, uh, you guys go through the stomach once again. You guys go and jump through. Jump, jump, jump. You make your way through. There, there, there was this optional area, but it's totally fine. Uh, we're just going to skip over that. But you guys start making your way towards the top. You have a feeling that you are close to what you are searching for. By optional area. Um, as this happens, before we get into that, thank you, Unicorn, uh, Faye, Mr. Bacon Slices, and the Sick Frog. You've been fantastic. Let's get our last three participants here been fun everyone in chat player one player two player three who is going to be our last and final group see you guys take care of kenny and may <laughs> it was great thank you thank you guys guys keep the pets alive <laughs> that's fair keep the pets alive The greatest goal. TYSM Duke. Thank you guys. See ya. All right, I think that's enough time. Our You're last awesome group of people must live. is Maverick 0304 is Tanky. Ep Epic Order of the Seven is Treaty. And Smitey is Sad Maceo. Player one. Congratulations, you three. You are now in control. And yes. now being in control. Wow, let's go. You find the sword. As you make your way down. Hello there. You see a gigantic figure. Hello there. In the back of this corner. You guys see an ogre has been swallowed up by this purple worm it decided to make a little camp for itself oh dear and you see the cause of the stomach ache you see a rod in this ogre's hand you see it press a button on this rod and it immediately stops in mid-air and from what you guys see it looks like the rod slams into the innards over here of the purple worm what looks to you is it slammed but in reality the purple worm moved into the immovable rod. The ogre laughs e in enjoyment, grabs onto the rod, clicks it, and as it moves, you notice ginormous bruising happening right here where it has constantly been turning on and off this immovable rod, causing this purple worm in intense pain. Tanky, Treaty, Smitey, what do you do? It is up to you. I'm Smitey. Can I get a healing? That is fair. <laughs> Let's kill it. Oh my gosh. Smitey is ready to kill this thing. Smitey, do you do you heal uh Tanky? Same, it might attack us. That's fair. It might attack sure, you. Sure, I cast heal for Tanky. All right, so you are going to do your lay on hands. You're only going to do one point. 
You're only going to do one point. And guess what? Because he's wearing that amulet, he is going to get a full 10 health back. You're now bumped up to 12. Big heal. <laughs> yeah, big heal. There you go. Uh, Mav uh, um, Tanky, you do have a potion of heal giant strength, which can boost your strength up to 21. Do you want to use that on yourself, or do you want to give it to one of your comrades? Just a suggestion. I'm just reminding you what you have. As we wait, as they all stare intently at this ogre, trying to figure out how they're going to defeat this thing. Use potion for Timmy and Worm. Let them tank for us. Oh my gosh, you're no way. I didn't even think of that. I didn't even think of that. I want to take it in. Guys, I want to challenge it to an arm wrestling contest to get him to leave. Oh. Oh. Yo. Okay. 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 All right. We got two options here. We got two options. I'm going to ask chat this really quick. Okay. Chat. Do we. I, I, like, I like both these options. Chat. Do we split the potion and give the potion to Tim A and uh, Kenny? Split it so they both go to 21. I'll allow that. Or do we let Tanky drink the potion and we have an arm wrestling contest to see if the ogre is going to leave? Let's see what it is. Oh, Diana the Rose. Hello. Good to see you. Thank you for the raid. Appreciate that. Hopefully it went well for you. Arm wrestling, arm wrestling. Oh, wrestling contest. Really? Five on one? I like both ideas, actually. Okay. Arm wrestling can be funny. It looks like people are going for the arm wrestling. I think we're going to do the arm wrestling. All right. Here we go. I will Take sneak me. when the wrestling begin behind the ogre. Oh, okay. Okay. Here we go. Tiggy, you pop open that bottle Same. of giant strength. You chug that down. You throw it to the ground. You now have a... 21 to your strength. Okay, that is a plus five. You were at a plus three. Now you're at a plus five. You go up to this ogre. Does Tanky know ogre? You know orc. What is the what is the ogre? Does the ogre know orc by chance? It probably doesn't, but it's worth it's worth it's worth a shot. Here we go. It knows giant. Oh, it knows common. It do, it knows common. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. So you go up. What do you say to the orc tanky to get its attention to have you to have it face you for an arm wrestle? What do you say to it? Spidey, uh, Spidey Treaty, I, I see what you're wanting to do. We'll get to that in a second. Stinky face. Jeez, that was rude. <laughs> this is intense this is getting intense we're at the very end here three level twos are going against an ogre one has been can i sneak in with down. oath of throwback uh, can i sneaking with oath of throwback you absolutely can While the ogre focused on Tanki. Okay, sounds can good. Can I also sneak? Yes, you both can sneak. We'll wait until we find out what uh, Tanki says to get the ogre's attention. And then we're going to figure out what is going to happen. Did Maverick die? Is Maverick still there?
You are inside a noble creature, oh. causing it to do bad things that challenge your strength. And if you lose, you leave. Oh, okay. All right. He was just taking time. He's a barbarian. He's got to think of this stuff. He took a potion of strength, not a potion of intelligence. We had to wait. You are inside a noble creature, causing it to do bad things. I challenge your strength, and if you lose, you leave, Tinky says to this ogre. The ogre presses the immovable rod once more, slams into the spot of the purple worm. You hear old Bessie, you know, the little ooh, as, the, as one whale noise would make, but it's a purple worm. And it stops. It turns over and looks at you. <sighs> you... Or challenge me to an arm wrestling contest. <laughs> and I leave. You're on. And this ogre stands up, stretches. It is tall. It is a giant. It's got a big old belly. And with each step, that belly moves up and down. It has been well fed. And it comes over to you. Goosh, goosh, goosh. It gets down on its belly. <laughs> Puts its arm on the ground. Tanky. We're going to just leave it. I my arm and roll my shoulder. Oh, I like it. Tanky slaps his arm, rolls the shoulder, the shoulder, and somehow manages to grab the arm of this ginormous giant ogre. We're going to just leave that to everyone's imagination to how you feel like that's going to happen. As this is going on, Treaty Spidey, you both want to stealth behind the ogre, correct? I say this, Timmy. Stay put while Papa does his moves. I love Why it. Why, yes. Okay. Timmy stays behind. Timmy stays behind. Hides in this little corner. Okay. Tanky. We're going to start with yes. you first. We are going to do a strength contest between the both of you. Tinky, you are going to roll against his strength. The ogre is going to roll against you, his strength, your strength. Wh whoever rolls highest is going to win this match. I rage. Oh, shoot, you rage. I didn't even think about that. Tinky rages. Oh, let's go. Great idea. Tinky, you put your hand down. And as you clamp your hand around the ogre's hand, your veins start to just appear all over your arm. You almost get, you feel yourself getting stronger, not only from this potion, son. but now you get a bow, you get advantage on your strength checks. Let's go. Let's go. All right, here we go. We're going to have the strength roll for the ogre. Poor ogre you, arm going to snap. I know, it's going to snap. Strength is a plus four. Here's what's going to happen. We're going to have it roll first. Here we go. Ogre rolls. Oh, no. Oh, no. The ogre rolled a 22. You have advantage. You have advantage, Tanky. You have to be a 22. We're going to we're gonna see something, though. Let's see. You gave advantage of straight checks and, uh, on, and throws. Okay. You get advantage. You get a plus five to this. Here we go. I'm just going to roll athletics because it's a plus five. Everyone, I need everyone to cheer on for Tanky. And everyone says inspiration. Spidey is the one that has inspiration. Spidey, if you feel like you want to do this, you can give Tanky inspiration after this if you feel like it. Again, I'm going to leave this one up to you. Tanky, first roll. Yeah, Sorry, what? <laughs> I uh, was Tanky, you got this. Okay. Here we go. First roll for Tanky. Yeag. Oh, 16. Yeah. 16. Oh, didn't make it, but you have advantage. Can you do this, Tanky? I misspelled. Oh, no! Oh, it was a good roll, too, and it goes to seven. You see Tanky put his arm down. The ogre goes down. At first, Tanky seems to be winning this fight, uh. but slowly starts to yeah. lose. Starts to... No. His arm starts to weaken. But, but his attention is on Tanky. We still have Spidey and uh, 
Treaty, and they want to stealth behind the ogre. We're going to see if they can make it <laughs> with a disadvantage on stealth. Uh, let's find out. Uh, I would say you are going to have advantage, so it's going to cancel out. So you're going to just have a straight roll, but it's still going to be negative one. Uh, let's make the DC check. Um, uh, what's the intelligence on this thing? What's the wisdom? Um, really freaking low. All right. Passive perception is not good at all. So I'm going to say you got to beat an eight. You're going to have to beat an eight. With, uh, with stealth, this is for treaty. We're going to go with treaty first. You have to beat an eight. Uh-oh. Uh, dirty 20 for treaty. Let's go. Treaty is going to stealth behind it now. The worrisome part, Smitey's got a negative one. Here we go. Why do you always roll behind there? Oh, no, you rolled an eight and you got a seven. Come on, die God, give me sneak. You, you did not get sneak. You rolled an eight and you had a negative one. What would you like to do, Smitey? You do have inspiration. Inspiration, can I? Inspiration. Uh, you get inspiration, but you can't inspiration. All right. <laughs> all right. Uh, we're gonna in inspiration. You get a roll again. You're going to roll again. Can you beat an eight? And you get a nineteen. Let's go. Treaty. You easily... All right, no, let's do it like this. Tanky, you are distracting the ogre. The strength of this ogre is too much. You are facing a giant. And with giant strength, his mass is almost too much. But that gives enough time for Treaty to stealth behind the ogre. Spidey, Is that all you first, got? Oh, dang. Spidey, at first, you're not sure if you could do this. You've never been good at, uh, um, at stealthing, but you see Treaty easily be able to move through. It gives you the confidence you need, and you are able to stealth following Treaty's lead behind the ogre. Tank, uh, Tanky, you just straight up trash talk this ogre, saying, is this all you got as you're losing? He's going to... Uh, we're going to do another strength check really quick to see if you are able to hold or your arm is going to go down. He is going to roll. Oh, a nine. This is good. This is good. You are going to also Beat roll him. with advantage. Maybe I will change my car path to rogue. Nine, Winky you face. already did this. Oh, you could. 1924. Holy crap. With the power of the strength. Tanky, your confidence and seeing your... Seeing your pals get behind the order gives you the extra strength. As your arm is going down, you bring it up, and you Lap two are out. at a stalemate. The ogre's eyes widen in surprise and starts really buckling down. Yeah, laughed out. Good for you. Sp Spidey Treaty, what do you two do now that you're behind this ogre? What do you do? Stealth attack. Stealth attack? I could give you advantage. But you can't have sneak attack. What is Smitey going to do? Can I distract the ogre with more distraction? Yeah. What? Wait, I'm... Wait, okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Spidey, one second. What is that? Hold on. We're, we're pausing the music really quick. Okay, so you wanted to stealth behind the ogre... That is distracted. That Tanky is distracting. And now you are... Where is the immovable rod? You are wanting to distract the ogre. The immovable rod is right over here. That is where the immovable rod is. What do you plan on doing? Treaty is going to attack. Spidey, what do you plan on doing? Let's take the rod. Okay. 
You're going to go and take the rod. I like it. Whoop. There's something pressing. So you go and take the rod. What do you do now? What do you do? It's all coming down to this. Can I move the rod? Yes, you can. You click the button, it comes off. You're now able to move that rod. Guys, this is we're right here. This is it. This is the climax of it. What is going to happen? What is Smitey going to do with this immovable rod? What? No. <laughs> Let me shove the rod to ogre butts. No! 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 All right. Okay. You're not sorry. Y'all are not sorry about this. He's not that kind of ogre. <laughs> okay. Here's, <coughs> here's what's going to happen. Treaty, you're going to be up first. You grab your quarterstaff. You still have Shillelagh on it. Congratulations. You are going to try to attack it. You have advantage on it because it is being distracted. Uh, you have to beat an armor class of 11, which should be easy. You have advantage on this. Let's see what you get. You you missed the first time. Good thing you have advantage. You're going to roll again. Oh, you had advantage too. Oof. Yeah, oof. Oof. <sighs> Treaty, you come up to hit it with your wow. shillelagh. As this happens, it with, with Tanky getting a better position with its... With its grip and surprise uh, attack with something unexpected is surprising. That is, that is true. Um, with Tanky bringing up the arm and gaining the strength back, the ogre taken aback by this. It, the the ogre moves its legs in a way you weren't expecting to. As you went to go hit it with a shillelagh, it knocks you over. But Spidey, this gives you a perfect opening to <laughs> shove this thing up its butt. What do we roll for this? What what do we roll for this? All right, are, are, are we just doing a strength check? Is this just like a you were trying so hard to just run and just shove this thing? Roll for butt. Oh gosh. Take this, you stinky ogre. Oh no. All right. So we're going to roll strength. Uh, I'll give you advantage because you're still sneaking up on it. Are you just... So, uh, I need to ask, Spidey. I need to ask. Are you just shoving this in there and that's it? What exactly are you doing after you shove it up the ogre's butt? I... This is... And it's actually important to ask. Why do you ask that? Because I'll tell you. Turn it on the rod, too. Okay. All right. That's all I needed to know. You have, adva <laughs> you have advantage to shove this immovable rod up the ogre's butt. Here we go. That's a five. That does not succeed. I swear, if this doesn't work. I'm going to roll again. A strength check with advantage. 
So far, there has been three fails in a row. Twenty one. You beat this by increments of two. Knew my genius idea. No, you did it. A twenty one. You grab this immovable rod. You see Treaty get yes. smacked out of the way. It is your time. You charge forward. And at the most perfect moment, you shove this immovable rod up the ogre's butt and activate it. For Valhalla, yeah. Uh, excuse me, what? Tinky! You see the ogre's eyes get wide and you slam it's our, you slam the arm down on the ogre as you have beaten it in an arm wrestling competition, but we got to figure out something. How fast is a purple worm? 5e. Oh, snap. Let's read. Oh, no. Let's, let's, let's do this. Oh, dear. Let's do this. Purple worm. Its speed is 50 feet. So, hey Siri, how much falling uh, damage is taken per feet? I'm just going to calculate like this. The purple worm moves 50 feet. Per six seconds. This thing just got... Sh this ogre just got an immovable rod shoved up its butt. And the purple worm is currently moving 50 feet per second. Which means every six seconds, it's going to take 5d6 damage. First one. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no. Rolling took 14 points of damage. You see, Tanky, you slam this arm down and you almost don't expect your strength. And all of a sudden, this ogre goes flying backwards and it nails the wall behind him. And he takes. I That's knew it. Well, the ogre had how, how many hit points? Ogre. 59 hit points, and it took how much damage? Uh, hi, look at my arm is shock. <laughs> 59, and you just rolled 14, so it went down to 44 points of damage, and it is stuck against this wall. We are now going to see, let's see, if it got stuck, let's say the purple worm's moving that way, it's going to go back and hit here. Let's say the purple worm can move like this. Let's see if the purple worm can shimmy the ogre out. <laughs> Just for time's sake. Uh, purple worm. Let's, let's get the purple worm back up. Purple worm. Uh, let's have it make a dexterity check. I was going to say dexterity check, and it's a negative two. All right, I'm going to have it roll. Let's see if it can shimmy this ogre out of its bum. Here we go. That is a five. No, that will not happen. That is a 12. That is a 10. I'm going to say that's a success. Let's do, let's do three and three. Let's do three and three. Like, if you get three successes, it shimmies out. If you get three fails, it doesn't. So both were at a success and a fail. One and one. 
You gotta beat a 10. Natural 20! It just shooted itself out! Oh my gosh! It fell the 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 purple worm just fell where the ogre went and fell just a big thing and it goes, oh I I know what's here now. And it moves in such a way that this ogre goes, it's stuck in one place, but the, the purple worm moves it out of its body and it goes, what? Gone! It is gone! Our players defeated the ogre! They gave the purple worm a stomach ache by shoving an immovable rod up the ogre's butt, which made the purple worm poop the Whoa. ogre out! Free you free. did it! You did it! What did I just do? I know! At the same time, Tanky thinks that his strength threw the ogre out. He has no idea that an immovable rod was just shoved up the ogre's butt. All of you, make your way back to the tavern. This is a big freaking map. You guys go meet Gerbert Gamgee. All five of you, the three adventurers, Tim A and Ken A are all with you. You make it back to Gerbert Gamgee. Oh. Timmy, you did great. Timmy did fantastic. Gerbert Gamgee comes up to you and goes, thank you. Oh, thank you. Bessie is better once again. What did you do? As he asked that, you guys described to him what you did. Gerber Gamgee's eyes get wide, and he's now concerned on what just happened. More so for that ogre. Oh, um, yes, uh, of course, but I see you made two new friends along the way. I see you met the unicorn rabbit named Tim A, and now you have your own purple wormling. Take good care of that wormling, Smitey. I offer him the rod with more liquid. The rod is gone. You do not have the rod anymore. It is pooped out. It is still in the butt of the ogre. Okay? It is not there anymore. Gerber Gamgee's so happy. He can't believe that old Bessie is better again. And it was these three who did it. Our three adventurers, thank you for taking the role. But we got one more role that we need to fill. We're going to choose the last three people. And these people are going to give us the last words of our Sad adventurers. Sad didn't take it, but it was a journey for you. Yes. Everyone in chat, player one, player two, player three. Thank you, Maverick. Thank you, Epic Court of the Seven. Thank you, uh, Sad Meso. What is going to be the final thing? Thank oh, you, guys. Did my camera just die? I Thank think the you camera for the just fun. Died. That was, that was that was perfect timing. Look at that. Thank you. There we go. Are the, the people who will give us our final words for Tanky is Jazzy Player Fern. Two. For Treaty, it is Bob 500 of Player Lucas. three. And for Player Spidey, three. it is Ishtun. Players, Player three. how are you sending this off? How are you sending this stream off? You. Whoa. Besides cheering, what are your final words as Takey, Treaty, and Smitey? As Gerbert Ganji gets drinks for all of you and the best meals you've had in quite some time. I I'm shall raise Timma and Kenny as my own. That's all, folks. <laughs> Ishtun is taking the Worm League and Tim A. Bessie's legacy shall live on. No, Timma is mine. So it seems like the party has come to an end on no. their adventure. But the next adventure is figuring out who gets to give, keep Tim A and who gets to keep Ken A? 
before we end. Custody is mine. <laughs> Gerber we Gamgee. shall care for the worm link like our own kin. <laughs> Gerber Gamji comes up to you and says, Thank you, three. I shall take you to your next destination. Tim is mine. Yes. But I'm going to warn you. Three you, parents. You may not like how you have to get out of Bessie. And he's going to give you this disgusted look. And that is where we're going to end our one shot. There it is, everyone. Thank you all so very much. I get weekend. <laughs> Are we going to get shout out? D yes. 100%. And with that, we're going to we're going to end this. I get weekdays. <laughs> Stop. Thank you all so very much. Ah. Uh, I do That was the first time we did that. I have notes for myself on how to make things better, but I do want to ask all of you how did you enjoy the one shot? How did you enjoy playing D&D with chat? Do you have any suggestions, any notes on how we can make this better? No more movable rod. It was fun. That was fun. Make more that make more than 3. I don't think I can. You loved it, but you paid for hydration. Oh, thank you. You have to drew in some heels. Bring back Timmy and Kenny. Longer session. Maybe chat drunk more often. I think it'd be cool to pick your class. That's true. It's your time to practice along. Yeah, that's true. This is the first time I really came back to streaming. So, try to come back. It was great. Amazing. Would recommend. I took technical notes. Okay, Jacob was there. Maybe do a full campaign. We might we might do a fundraiser for uh Gen Con. Healing options for the party would be great. That's good to know. Maybe add a gimmick where chat can also affect the game, maybe through channel points. That that was one thing. Again, I, I had to start things off slow and then we'll come back and add more to it. I actually enjoyed this, and I might have only come to the end, but it still seems really good to me. Uh, more stroll pull for less waiting. Maybe. Can't wait for more. That's good. All right. Uh, one thing. I So here's here's one note that I had. Um, I felt I was... I took too long in certain points. Do I need to be a little bit more railroady and a little bit more like all right this section's over and move things on so we can kind of keep things moving and keep things engaging is that something that would be better or did you guys like the pace i uh, thank you all so very much for saying you enjoyed it like it really that really made me happy to hear thank you All right, would there be someone to have a website, Google Doc, or something? Yeah, the, the, the character sheets are in the description. And uh, if you type in exclamation point, play uh, Barbarian, Druid, or um, a Paladin on Twitch, you will the, the links will pop up. Pace was great. Move a rod. Pace was good. Really? Pace was good? I like the pace. It was fun. Pace was pretty good, actually. I think it was okay, but considering the form, this is some railroading might be in order. That's fair. Hard to expect more when Twitch chat is the player. I know. No, no, like not tanky. Exclamation point barbarian. Exclamation point druid. Exclamation point uh, paladin. Pace seemed to know different than an average game. That's good to know. Fantastic. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. The pace made it feel like a natural D&D game. Okay, that's good. People uh, who input at the last second usually get got to play that's true that that is very true so uh that uh, this is not my code again it's just something that i i i took from doug doug so somewhere already not an overwhelming amount all right outside of technical difficulties pacing was great spell things right yeah only pace issue were the player responses but otherwise it was great okay cool awesome all right so 
You guys enjoyed... The, I'm surprised you guys actually enjoyed the pacing. I was nervous about the pacing. I thought I was taking too long on things. I thought I was being a little bit... like I, I just thought things were taking too long and people were losing interest. But if people were actually having fun and it felt like an actual game and it felt like friends playing with friends, that that is that's the important part. So thank you guys so very much. Chat can redeem points to help out their favorite characters, kind of like Hunger Games. I like that. I do like that. Uh, I think one thing that could really help would be donations as well. Donations would very much help because not only that, it would really help support the channel where we can do more. But the player responses do lag between what we hear and when it's said. Oh, really? That's good to know. Technical issue. Yeah, of course. That was a great session late. A little lag. Okay. What do you guys mean by lag? Like, wait, was it me like asking the question? There was just like a long pause waiting for the response. Because that's normal. Because that's a stream and I'm waiting for people to hear it on stream and then send the message. Is that what you're saying? Or is it like when they move and we hear it, there's lag with that? Have like certain stuff that can happen when you donate money on YouTube. Okay, yeah. Once you ask a question, it's like 10 seconds till we hear it. Wait, like it's taken like 10 seconds for you guys to hear my voice. Oh, oh, I get it. I get it. So when I ask something, it takes 10 seconds for you guys to hear it on stream and then you respond. Yeah, that, I mean, it's just stream like there's nothing I could do about that. So that that's just going to be it. Okay, cool. So, all right. Yeah, I did a great job. Thanks. Can't wait for more. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. So, cool. So, did you guys like the DDs moving when they talked? Did you also like... Uh, did you also enjoy uh, uh, Loot God as well? Do you like that bot? Loot God was awesome. I'm so glad. Yes, very fun. Luke God was great. I'm so glad, guys. Thank you. I'm so glad you guys enjoyed it. Luke God was S tier. Some chat lag between us hitting enter and it showing up. That's fair. Yeah. Cool. I'm so glad you guys liked it. It was a very fun format. That's good. That's how we see a true GM always asking questions about the game. Thank you. Well, you guys are great players for giving me uh, honest responses. So thank you all so very much more lore <laughs> when is the next stream like this i'll pencil you in uh not 100 percent sure because so the one thing that i want to start doing with these streams everyone is i want to uh, i can stop recording i don't need to keep recording this so the thing i want to do is i want to play these games but then i want to cut them down into like sessions where like they're actual videos and then like i'm gonna unlist this video literally right when it's done and then I'm going to uh, um, make a video of it and then post it later. Um, I want to do that. So I don't know how often it's going to be. Also, I want to do like some challenge videos as well. Like chat GPT versus Twitch chat. Who can win in a in a D&D &D fight? Because uh, I, got, I got a code that lets me use uh, that. Uh, like he's a professional great dungeon master. So do more one shots. Okay. Well, the loot god wasn't working on the cloak. I... I was like, have it give them Misty Step once a day. And then Luke God worked and it gave them Misty Step. And I was like, let's go. Good. <laughs> once a week. Okay. I felt like Luke God was a bit too overpowered. I told it to give us goofy items to very powerful items. So it, it will do whatever. That one, he just chose to get powerful items. I think that's fun. So how long you planned all this setup and this one shot Duke? Oh, sad Meso. Okay. Man, it it took probably a good month to get this all working. So I had to figure out coding. I had to get that all to work. After I got that all to work, like we got this table. So we had to get the table all set up as well. And then after the table, like I had to do the designing. I had to get the assets done. I had to make new costumes for Didi. It took a while. Like to get this to actually work took about a month.
Make Luke God have a chance to make chess be a mimic. Oh, that's an idea. I like that. If you run a campaign like this, maybe change the players less often once an hour. We'll see. Maybe you can ask the community YouTube if you make a campaign for decision that would take too long in lie of like, do you go to the dungeon or the noble court? Oh, that's fair. Yeah. The cloak was on point. Exactly what I'd expect from a base fighter cloak. That's awesome. Oh, I do like this. I do like this. Elowen. Uh, if there's certain spots where, um, like, it's like, all right, do you guys go do this or do you guys do this? I think it'd be cool to engage uh, YouTube chat and say, all right, YouTube chat, we're going to make a poll really quick. Do the, do we go into the castle or do we do the courtyards? And then Twitch and then uh, YouTube chat suggests that. And then the players over on Twitch. So like, no matter what, like if you're on YouTube or Twitch chat, you're making choices that affect the game. I like that a lot. That's a cool one. Yeah, maybe like player change every half hour. So we get four to five players a session. That could work. I run things by chapters. So completely un unrelated to the topic at hand. I've never been one to run a D&D game before, so this helped me understand a bit of what to do. I'm so glad to hear that, Istune. You, you're going to do great. You're going to do fantastic running. You're going to do fantastic. All the work was worth it. I haven't laughed so hard in some time. I wasn't participating, but I thoroughly enjoyed myself just watching. I'm so glad. Thank you. I, I, it really does mean a lot. Oh, it would also be fun to create a, a, a friendly war YouTube versus Twitch. I would love, love to do that. I just don't have the code for it. Can you post the unedited version, please? Yes. So when I post the actual, like, the actual video of it, I would un... There'll be a link to the unlisted video where you guys can watch it. Yeah, I, I would 100% do this again. I honestly felt a little nervous going into it. Um, I, I was very focused on what I was trying to do. I do feel bad that I wasn't really focused on you guys and making sure that things were a little bit more enjoyable. But I, I after... This first test run, I feel like it, it went very well. I learned a lot. I know what to do. I kind of have to pick and choose on which uh, things I I go with. So, yeah. Thank you, guys. Duke is quickly becoming the king of community involvement in D&D. Oh, thank you. Oh, Nathan! Uh, I got your mask, by the way. Thank you. It fit perfectly. It's amazing. Also, happy birthday! I got the, I got the notification, actually, when we were streaming. I know it was yesterday, but happy birthday, dude. This is my first D... That was your first D&D &D campaign? Let's go! That's awesome. How would it be volunteer test of Oh, that's good. No, I think it was a really good game, and players should be uh, most of the focus. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, how, many, how many people are on YouTube and Twitch? I, I don't have any of this up right now. 74 on here. How much? How much was on Twitch? Sixty-four on Twitch. Okay, cool. That was my first fifth edition game. Awesome. This is my first one shot. Guys, this is awesome. That's awesome. Cool. Well, thank you all. I, I do really appreciate it. Thank you guys for the support. Um, I very, I, I, again, I'm very grateful for you guys watching and engaging and having a good time. It really does mean the world. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of your support. I am very blessed that you guys did enjoy this. I feel like this is very new for just the D&D community in general. And I hope we're able to build this more and more and we're able to make this kind of a, a bigger thing where a lot of people can play D&D with chat. So spread the word about this. Have people come and join. Again, the more we do it, the more we get the word out, the better we get at this and the more fun we can have. <clears throat> um, also, if you guys... <coughs> if you guys want this, uh, if you guys want the map and if you guys want the actual session... <laughs> jump over to our patreon exclamation point patreon or click on the link in the description or in the live chat subscribe to our one dollar a month and you guys get this one for free and any others that i make so guys are amazing join over on our discord as well you guys are great thank you guys again for making this worth it and having fun and we'll see if this becomes a weekly thing 
Uh, if it does, I'm going to need more support about this because I want I want to do a lot. And I, me and Jake are just two people. So we're, we're going to need the support from you, the community members, if we want to start doing more. So this was great. Th this was honestly fantastic. And I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, guys. Y'all have a good rest of your night. Sleep good. We'll see you guys maybe tomorrow. We'll see. We'll find that out. But you guys are great. Thank you. Have a good rest of, have a good rest of your night, guys. I love you. Thanks to everyone who donated and supported, super chatted. Thank you so much for keeping this channel going. And thank you to everyone watching. You guys were absolutely amazing. Have a good rest of your night, you guys. Bye-bye.